Fire away. I can't believe I'm saying this, but fire away. Question. <laughs> How's an overall preparation for the bowl game coming up down here? Preparation's been good. You know, this is a good team we're facing in, in Tennessee. Very good on special teams, have been for a long time. Know them very well, uh, you know, just from watching them and studying them. Uh, you know, over years past, but this is a really good team we're playing. I think our preparation's been good. It's been nice to be down here in, in warmer weather and sunshine and, and uh, you know, a little bit of clouds, but good sunshine down here. Coach, in the Big Ten title game, Colin makes that huge tackle. What was your reaction to that play? Uh, my reaction to the play was I couldn't figure out why he didn't make the tackle the first time uh, on the, you know, inside the 10. And, and he and I have talked about that. And it's a great play by him, great effort by him, but also feel like he could have made a, a great play on the front end. Uh, it, I also think it speaks to him and speaks to uh, his effort and how he how he plays and speaks to our culture here at Iowa um, about never never giving up, always finishing plays. And you know, I just wish he would have tackled the the returner on the on the first seven yard line instead of the opposite seven yard line. Can you tell us about your trip to Australia? Yeah, it was a good trip, uh, fruitful trip, definitely long, uh, long, and it took me a few days, almost a, a week or so, to get back to normal coming back here. But it's a good trip. Uh, the young man that's coming in here is an incredible, incredible young man, great family. His parents, his mom's actually from the United States. Uh, dad grew up as a farmer, so it's kind of kind of interesting, a farmer in Australia. Uh, but it's interesting the ties uh, that, you know, back here to Iowa. And obviously, uh, he and Tori uh, know each other a little bit, and I'm really excited for him to get here as, as I am the other freshman coming in, too. Can you uh, compare the two? Do you see similar to Tori personality-wise at all? Are they different type of styles, guys? I know he's a little bit younger than Tori was. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to compare anybody to Tori and, you know, compare those guys. Obviously, he knows he's going to walk in a situation where there are big shoes to fill. Um, expectations can be high, all, all those kind of things, but he's got to be himself, and that's the, one of the conversations I have with his parents and then with him separately. Don't come in here trying to be someone else. Be yourself. We recruited you because we like you, not because we expect you to be like somebody else. And that's any player that you that you bring in uh, here to you know, recruit someone. But I think he's definitely a talented kid. He's a little bit younger, so you know there's some maturity and some growth that happens uh, with younger players as opposed to older players. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm anxious for him to get here and can't wait to work with him. You had some in-state guys too. Hunter's really highly acclaimed being a conservative. What was it about him? So attractive to bring him to Iowa. Yeah, I think you know if you, if you just follow kind of how we how we've done things here. If you look at talking about Tory, he's done an excellent job here. That's really hard for us not to go back to that same that same uh, type of deal and feel very strongly about the guy coming in as I do with Tory going out. And uh, you know, wish everyone well and wish everyone their best uh, moving forward in their careers. And we'll definitely follow uh, those guys, but uh, just definitely feel like we got the right guy. Can you imagine that? I mean, could you imagine all year that Tori did that? Kicking a punt off the ground, the empty stadium, like getting off the plane. I know Gary told me about that. Time in Minnesota, just like all of us laughed at him. I think, I mean, what, how, what can you say about his journey that's about to end? I, I think his journey is incredible, but I also think it speaks to him and, and kind of how, how things are here at Iowa. Um, this is a place where you can come, you can be yourself. It's a place where you can come and you can start to uh, start to thrive and, and develop as a person, not only as a, as a player, but as a person. And it starts at the top with Coach Ferentz. You know, myself, the other coaches on our staff that have, that have played under Coach Ferentz have been not only developed as players, but been developed as people. And there's no better person to watch every single day than Kirk Ferentz. You know, all the, all the ups and downs of, of being a man and, and being a, a human being, like we've seen Coach Ferentz do all those things firsthand. And I think it, it speaks not only to, to him, but all the guys that have followed him and watching him, and then you add in the recruiting piece, no better place than Iowa for a young man to come into and, and thrive and develop. So I think Tory has been a benef benefactor of that. Um, you know, definitely happy with what he's done here. He's got a very bright future at the next level. Um, you know, anxious to watch him and anxious to help be a part of that. How much do you care about Tory having a all-time record for single season punting? Do I, how much do I care yeah. about it? Yeah. I mean, I want everything that he could possibly have that's good for him. I don't think it has any effect on on us, game plan, anything like that. But you know, I'm definitely excited for Tori and want him to have all the all the things that he can possibly get. How, how difficult is it uh, prepping for a team when you're not really sure who's going to be out there? As far as uh, there, uh, the Tennessee Volunteers. Uh, you, you, are you talking personnel? Personnel. Or you talking, yes. Yeah, your special teams is like that every week. <laughs> okay. You never really know who's in, who's out, and basically have to find their best players and what do they do best and try to try to zero in on them. So I think that's probably a little bit more 
uh, lends to special teams because we do that every week. And frankly, on our on our on our side, we're not always sure who's in, who's out. You know, based off what their role is on offense or defense. So I think it's pretty standard old hat. You know, offense, defense. I don't want to speak for those guys. How has yeah. Drew responded to his? I think Drew's been working incredibly hard. Um, Drew's a Drew is an incredibly talented young man. He's also very young, and I think we've all seen some of those things. I think he hit a little bump in the road, uh, but he's worked incredibly hard. And I think his teammates have been very supportive of him, talking about the specialist in particular, uh, and watching him work. And Drew's going to be fine. Drew's, uh, you know, long term, I think, is phenomenal, phenomenal talent, and I'm really anxious to see him get back on the field. I know he's anxious to get back on the field as well. How much, of a, how much of a teachable moment? Was Cohen's effort, not, not the execution of missing a tackle on time to five, but, but getting up and running. And I, I've seen you know, hundreds of coaches on Twitter yeah. saying, look, this is the kind of effort we need. And, and uh, you know, I guess from that perspective. How, yeah. how it's that definitely go? a teachable moment, I think, from all levels of football. Um, but it's also a microcosm of, or metaphor for life, right? Like when you screw something up or you, you mess something up, you get yourself up, you, you bust your tail and you finish. And that's what that's what that play is and I think you can look at that not to get totally philosophical I think that's a really uh, metaphor for life and I think it, as the years go by I think we'll go back and look at those plays a little little fresh for me <laughs> right now to be to be you know like overly um, overly excited about that play because I also feel like we could have made it the front the first end, or the front end excuse me but I think long term that's definitely a great play it's, it's someone that it's a play that people should show uh, often when you're talking about effort are there any younger players who have really these past four weeks or so have really stood out to you during the time of bowl prep practices? I think there are. It's really not anyone brand new. It's more guys that uh, that we've seen early on that are getting more work and getting um, you know better, get, getting more reps, more work. I think uh, Terrell Washington's one of those. Kamari Moulton's one of those. Uh, a, a little bit older, but a fresher guy, and, and Jake Bostic. Uh, some guys that, from a special team standpoint, they're really starting to step up. Zach Lutmer's one of those guys. Guys that we've sort of been had our eye on all year at the beginning of training camp, but now they're really getting the opportunity uh, to get out there and get some good work with the, the, the developmental practice we're having and then a little bit extra time. Okay, thank you, LeVar. Thanks, Thanks everybody. everybody.